Hi everyone. My name is Khairul Anam from Diponegoro University, Indonesia. First of all, I would like to thank to the committee of SICOM and OCMP for giving me an opportunity to present our work on city tours. Uh, this is my presentation in the city. In the city is software for calculating and managing radiation dose of commuted tomography for an individual patient. In the city is developed by Khairul Anam, Freddy Haryanto, Rena Vidita, Idam Arif, and Jeff Doherty. And this is the main form of in the city. In the city is for calculating the patient dose in terms of the SSDE. However, to calculate the SSDE, we should have the seated volume or output dose and diameter of patient. In the city, it also can be used to estimate the organ dose and to analyze the dose of patient. Before using in the city, we should install the in the city to our computer or laptop. After installing the in the city, we can open the in the city from start and choosing in the city. And this is the first form after opening the in the city. If you want to calculate the diameter of patient, we should open the patient images. There are two, there are three options to open the images. Use uh, to using open files or open folder. The open sample is to open the sample for using the software uh, and. Uh, for the education, for example. If we choose the open files and then uh, we can uh, files to be open and then click open. And this is the loading the images. We wait for a while uh, for images. And this is the image of the patient. We can choose the windowing suitable from this image and we can move from one image to another. And if we want to delete the image, for example, we click this button. And we have the data of the patient, for example, the name, protocol used, the examination date, age of the patient, and sex of the patient. And we can also have the DICOM info of the patient. If we want to see the DICOM info, we click this button. And this is the main features of the in the CT. There are five options five features to estimate the seated air volume, diameter of the patient, size specific to estimate, organ dose, and to analyze the patient dose. The first feature is to estimate the seated air volume. CDA volume is the metric for quantifying the output dose and to estimate the patient dose using this at the base on this CDI volume. In the industry, city, there are three options to estimating the CDI volume using calculation of get from the DICOM info, and we can input manually the CDI volume to the industry. city. And this is uh, the calculation of CDDI volume. In this 
uh, warm, we can see that the indoor city is similar to the impact city or other calculator. If we want to calculate the CDA volume, we have to choose the manufacturer, scanner, voltage, tube current, rotation time, pitch, collimation, scan length. And if we choose these parameters, and then we automatically obtain the CDA volume and the OLP. And if the images are obtained using the TCM technique, tube current modulation technique, we can uh, choose this TCM to obtain the uh, tube current for every slice of the patient images like this. And we can also save this uh, image of the TCM, tube current modulation. The second one, to obtain the CDA volume is from the DICOM info. And then we choose this option, get from the DICOM info, and we automatically obtain the CDA volume and the LP. However, not all CT images store the CDDI volume info in the DICOM. However, if we choose get from DICOM and our images doesn't contain the CDA volume and the software will give us a warning or information that the DICOM doesn't contain the value of CDDI volume. And then we can try another method uh, to get the CDDA volume. And uh, the third method to have the volume is from the city console. And the values of CDDA volume and the OLP, to slang product, and then manually input it to the software. Because to calculate the size specific to estimate, we have to uh, use uh, these values of CDA volume and DLP. The second one of the software is to estimating the patient size or patient diameter. The patient diameter is characterized by two metrics effective diameter and water equivalent diameter. We can choose one of both. If we choose an uh, effective diameter, and then there are two options from the image or without image or manually. If we want to calculate the effective diameter without image, and then we choose this one, and then there are options. For example, uh, effective diameter, AP diameter, lateral diameter, AP plus lateral diameter, and H of the patient, like this. This is the example. If we have the diameter in the AP direction, for example, 10 centimeter, we can write on uh, 10 centimeter here, and then we calculate, and then we get the di effective diameter of patient. Uh, 11.6 centimeter. And we also have the curve uh, of the effective diameter and the AP diameter like this. Another example, if we only have the information of age of the patient, we can also get effective diameter using age of the patient. We fill the age of the patient, for example, three years. After that, we calculate the effective diameter 
and then we get this effective diameter for three years of patient. And we also have the curve showing the effective diameter at the edge of the three years like this. And the effective diameter can be also calculated from the image of the patient. And if we calculate the diameter from the image of the patient, there are two options, manually or automatically. If we choose the manual calculation and then we should draw the diameter in the AP direction and in the lateral direction by clicking this lateral button and AP button. And then we calculate and then we get the diameter of the patient, effective diameter of the patient from the lateral, lateral diameter and AP diameter. This software is also give us automatic technique to measure the effective diameter from the image. And then we choose the auto. And there are three options for automatic calcul calculation of the effective diameter based on the area of the patient image from the center of the patient position and from the maximum diameter of AP and lateral. If we choose the center and then the software detect the center of the patient image and then calculate the uh, diameter in the AP direction and lateral direction and automatically uh, calculate the effective diameter. In, and if we choose the maximum and then the software will automatically determine the maximum diameter in the position uh, uh, which the diameter is maximum for AP and the lateral and then the auto automatically calculate the effective diameter of the patient. The software also give us uh, auto calculation in the for all images. If we choose the auto 3D and then we calculate the effective diameter for every slices. And there are three options using slice step, slice number, and regional. If we choose the slice step, for example, one, then the software calculate the effective diameter slice by slice. If we choose slice step two, for example, and then the software will calculate the slice one and then move to the slice number three, move to the slice number five, etc. And we can also choose the regional. We can define, for example, from the slice one and then to the slice uh, 15, for example, and then we calculate, the software will, will calculate uh, the effective diameter from slice one to slice 15. And this the uh, the curve showing the effective diameter from the uh, slice one to the slice uh, 15 like this. And then we, we also have the average uh, di uh, effective diameter. And this one is the average effective diameter from this curve. And we can also save this curve and uh, export to the Excel. This one like this, we can save this uh, curve uh, using PNG, TIFF, JPEG, bitmap, scalable factor, and we can also export to the Microsoft Excel. Okay. And the second one, the most robust uh, diameter is water equivalent diameter because this diameter is not only geometrical uh, diameter, but also uh, 
take into account and the composition within the patient images. We can we choose this water equivalent diameter, and there are uh, also two options. We can input manually, and we can also uh, calculate the water equivalent diameter uh, from the image. If you want to calculate from the image like this, there are also three options, auto, auto 3D, and manual. If you want to calculate the uh, water equivalent diameter manually, we, we have uh, two options using polygon or ellipse. If we want using ellipse, we click the ellipse button and then we have this ellipse here. And then we can rotate this uh, ellipse to enlarge to be fit to the patient border. And then we uh, calculate, we get this uh, water equivalent diameter. If we use the automatically, out auto here, and then the software will uh, automatically calculate the water equivalent diameter. And this is the result. And if uh, the image is truncated uh, at the every edges of the image, we can option these truncated images and then the software will compensate the truncated images to get more accurate uh, water equivalent diameter. And this is if we uh, choose the auto 3D, we also uh, have three options, slice step, slice number and regional from uh, one slice to another slice. This is the curve of the water equivalent diameter from the slice one to the slice 15. And then we can save this uh, curve and or, or export to the Excel file. After we have the CD volume uh, diameter of the patient, whether based on the effective diameter or what the equivalent diameter. After that, we can calculate the uh, size specific dose estimate or patient dose. We should know that the patient dose is calculated based on the CD volume, a measure uh, on the phantom. And we know that the, there are two kind of phantom in the uh, city. Head phantom with a 16 diameter and uh, body phantom with 32 diameter. We should choose the phantom we use, head or body phantom, like this. And after we choose the phantom we use, and then we click calculate, and then we automatically uh, get the conversion factor and SSDE like this. And this is the curve showing us the water equivalent diameter and conversion factor like this. And we also uh, have the DLP. DLP is uh, CD the volume multiplied by the length of scan and the LP corrected based on the size specific dose estimate. And we also have the, get the effective dose. Effective dose is the metric for estimating the cancer risk of the patient. If you want to know the organ dose from this examination, we should choose the protocol and then we calculate and then we get the estimation of the organ dose. And then we also have the curve of the organ dose. Uh, the dose of the patient, for example, CDDI, uh, water equivalent diameter, SSDE, DLP, effective, uh, effective dose, and so on, 
we can store this uh, this dos to the database uh, using this button save it means that the dos of the cd volume diameter ssde store and save to the uh, database like this and this database can be export uh, to the excel to analyze to, to further analyze the this this data and this if we want to analyze we click this button and this button uh, after clicking this button we have many options for solving the x-axis of for example city in volume or other metric the axis for example ssde and other metric and we can choose the sex for example all protocol as of the patient exam date and then we get this as uh, uh, this uh, graph the x axis is volume and the uh, y axis is ssde so like this we can get and we can see the our trend of the data of our patient like this using the software of Indocity. If you want to know more about uh, Indocity, you can read this manual book of Indocity. Thank you for very much for your kind attention. If you want to know more about the uh, Indocity, you can email me to the anam at physica.fsm.undip.ac.id. Thank you very much and see you again in the next time.